Okay, this is our demo website, and we're going to add a new overview forum page to um, give information and summary information on all of the forums on the site. There's only one forum right now, but I'm going to add a couple more forums onto the, um, the website so we have at least three to work with. I'm just going to go to WPS Pro Setup first, just to highlight this auto close period where you can set the number of days after which a forum post will close if there's been no activity. So 14 is two weeks, for example. Uh, this is new addition to 14.10 of WP Symposium Pro. So I'm going to use the Add Forum button here to quickly add a second forum to my site. And I'm going to do exactly the same to add a third forum to my site so that I end up with three forums on the website. Go to the WordPress menu as being suggested and add the second and third menu to the forum to the website menu, my new forum, my second forum and my third forum. Save the menu and go back to the website and we can see actually no before I do that I'll just show you the pages that were created through that quick start button and if I edit the my third forum page you can see the short code that's automatically inserted with the slug matching your forum. You can see the slug if you go to WPS Pro and then all forums or forum setup. So there's our three forums, my second forum and my third forum, the ones I've just added. But I'm just going to tidy up that page there because that's not particularly attractive by adding a sidebar to the site and check that allow comments is switched off because comments on a forum page would kind of defeat the object. So back to the site, view the page and oh forgot with this theme, this is a Florida theme, you have to select the sidebar, which I've done there, but you also have to choose a sidebar position, so I'm going to put the right sidebar on the right, and then I flick back and view the page. Looking at the page that I have, yep, there's my sidebar with my various widgets, they've all been added through various other videos which you can find under the video tutorials on wpsymposiumpro.com and I'm just going to go to my third forum here, choose my right sidebar on the right hand side, update the page and then I can have a look and check that the page is OK. Yep, there we go, my third forum with the sidebar. OK, so I'm now going to add a new page, a new WordPress page to provide an overview of all of those three forums. I'll call it forums and I put in the short code WPS hyphen forums with square brackets opening and closing before and after. I remember to choose my sidebar this time. Update and then I can have a look at my page. And this new page will show an overview of the three forums. Now that's it out of the box. There's an awful lot of customization which you can do, which we'll come on to in a second just to show you that that's the my new forum, my third forum, you can change the order, um, but that's my third forum and my second forum. Change the order by the way in WPS Pro and then choose all forums or forum setup and then you can edit the forum and change the order so that they appear in the right order for you. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go to uh, the symposiumpro.com website and just show you how to get the extra options for the short code that we've just added. You'll find them under the How To menu and then choose Short Codes. And then down the bottom of that page, click on Forum. OK, then here are all the options for the forum, including WPS Forums Short Code. And there's all the options that you can currently do to change the way it works, um, the text, and various other options best thing is to play around with them yourself to be honest with you and see how they change you can always remove them if you don't like the look but what I'm going to do is just change the word freshness there to something else because freshness doesn't mean a lot to some people and there's the option I want to change forum underscore freshness which defaults to freshness so I'm going to edit the page with my WPS hyphen forums shortcode on it pop it in there. I'm just switching to text mode because I want to make sure there's no spurious code that's been copied across when you copy and paste from a website. If I switch to text there I can see that no, there's nothing on there 
no spans or divs or anything. Okay, so that's updated the shortcode with an option for and freshness equals how fresh. And if I view the page, it now says how fresh. It doesn't actually get rid of the, uh, the word fresh, which I wanted in the first place, so I'll just quickly change that again to last post. And then if I view the web page, you can see that it changes to, not surprisingly, last post. Okay, now I'm going to just sort out the menu here, because having three forms on the menu is a bit of an overkill. I want my new forums page on there. So I'll create that page. Oh, I've got duplicate there. Let me just get rid of that duplicate. And then drag down my three individual forum pages so they appear underneath my new forums overview page. Save my menu and pop back to the site. And there we are, forums with my three forums underneath. So that's fine, but what I'm going to do is flick back to the Symposium Pro website here. Um, just as I say, there's a lot of options here which you can play around with and change, and if you don't like what it does, you can always just get rid of the option in the shortcode. So you can't break anything by trying these out. But what I want to do is just have a look at this page and see if I can perhaps make some changes. In fact, what I'll do is I'll have a look at the forums page on wpsymposiumpro.com, and we'll use that as the basis for the options in the shortcode. So these are the forums on WP Symposium Pro. And if I edit that page, you can have a look at the shortcodes. At the top is a forum search shortcode, which I'm going to ignore. That's something for a separate video. Uh, then I follow that with some text just to help out the users. And at the bottom of the page is a couple of what are called no-break spaces, which is just a way of telling the web browser to put in some blank space before the footer. But this is the bit I'm interested in. This is a WPS hyphen form shortcode with some options attached. If you want to know exactly what they do, as I say, have a look at that page on Symposium Pro website and it'll explain them if they're not immediately obvious. Or as I say, you can play around with them anyway and um, see what see what gives. Now I want to include my closed post on this particular site, so I'm going to remove that option. I could have just set it to 1, but removing them is just a bit tidier. I don't want the overall header, because I'm going to show three posts underneath each form title. And I'm going to have the show and the posts of the sub posts, the header of the sub posts, sorry, I'm switching on with that last parameter. So there we have my new forum, and it's showing up to three posts underneath. There's only one at the moment. So I'll quickly add a second post. something imaginative, hello world. So I'm posting a new post into my new forum. I can go back to my new forum with the link just to show it's there. And if I go back to my overview page on forums, you'll see that it also exists there. Okay, thanks, have fun.